first pitch coming at you right after the break. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show brings you the National League Championship Series. The Atlanta Braves and the Arizona Diamondbacks. John Chambi and Chris Singleton on the call. And you got to love a Game 7, especially with a trip to the World Series on the line, Chris. Yeah, and the heat's turned up all the way tonight, boo. The pressure's never higher than in a Game 7. And the pennant's on the line in this one. So it's a matter now of which team can handle it better, which team can put the nerves aside and play clean baseball one play at a time. Yeah, it's got to be hard to stay in the moment knowing the World Series is just one win away. The stakes are sky high. I've had players tell me the highest level of pressure in the playoffs is in the LCS, not the World Series. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. And now the batter is Carson Kelly. That is good. The catcher. Carson Kelly. Mad bomb deals. On the ground to the left. Slings it across. And there's two down. Batting six. The left fielder. Here's the third baseman, Gerald Raymond. Big time power. So in game seven, you're talking about the heart of the order, the big time players. This is one of the guys that they need to come through with a big performance. Yeah, and when you come into this situation, there's some pressure there. His teammates are looking to. There's a swing and a drive. That one is gone. He'll circle the bases. That's career homer number 149. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 2-0. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it, and it went a long way. Back to the top of the lineup. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. A switch hitter batting right. Second baseman. Ozzie. Kicks and fires. Popped up. Raymond settles it. underneath it. it, brings it in for the third out. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Braves nothing. Ready to go, bottom four. And here is Gerald Lead Raymond. For the it's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot Gerald. defensively, but Raymond. runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. And he's into second with nobody out. That was one of those swings that feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat. It jumped off so hard, squared it up, and it went screaming at 108 miles per hour. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. The batter, number eight, designated hitter, Kevin. Throw is high and over his head. And safe. It's a stolen base. And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. And I think that skill set really hey, upgrades the position down. because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout. 
You know, variant speeds can be just as useful now for a pitcher back. as Never movement, field. as you see right there. Yeah. It really was in a great location, Hilger. but the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. The 2 1. That misses the zone, and the count is 3 and 1. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think oh, if push guy, came to shove right where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Two, and he walked him. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there, or for the ump to help him out and make the call now with that back. last pitch, Left but field. neither happened. Close Nico. pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Next one misses, two and one. Hey, like you can up there, like you can. Let's go. The count two and one. That's a base hit run scores. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And welcome back. Come we on, head to the bottom of the fifth. Hit. And now it's go. switch hitting third, third baseman, back. Gerald Raymond. Baseman. He's not going to get cheated up there. Raymond. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. On the ground, right side. Throws to first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. The batter, the designated hitter, Kevin. Now, Gerald Raymond. He's already homered here in this one. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. And he hits a ground ball right side. Over to Swanson. Out number three. Here's a big power threat. Gerald Raymond. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. First pitch, not close. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. And a pinch. Rip to right center, and that one will leave the park. Out of here. That was a moonshot. His 150th career homer. And they add on. It's 13-4. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the catcher, Carson Kelly. The catcher, Carson Kelly. The pitch. Rip towards third. Dosta Muncy, one up, one down. Up next for Atlanta, the left fielder, Eddie Rosario.
Congratulations to the National League champions. These guys clearly excited, and they deserve every bit of this moment. Enjoy it, fellas, but get yourselves ready for the biggest series of your lives. For my partner, Chris Singleton, and our great crew, thanks for watching the National League Championship Series on MLB The Show.